Hey guys, if you want to learn how to make this necklace and earring set, stick around for the tutorial. So we're going to start off by making the tassels for the earrings. I'll be using some seafoam green and baby pink thread. You'll need a sturdy card to wrap the thread around. Here, I'm using an old credit card. Wrap the thread around the card 50 times. Make sure to wrap it loosely so you can slip it off easily when you're finished. Grab a jump ring, slip the thread through, and fold it over. Cut a small piece of thread and set it aside. Clean up any loose threads by brushing them tightly away from the jump ring. Once it looks good, you can wrap the small piece of thread around the tassel. Give it a good 5-7 to seven wraps, then tightly tie both ends together 3 times to secure it in place. I'm holding the tassel up to the earrings to gauge the size I'd like the tassels to be. The hoops on these earrings are a statement enough, so I'm going to keep the tassels small and dainty. When you're ready to cut the extra thread off, make sure to leave a little room for error. If you cut too much, you'll have to redo everything again. The next step is adding a halo of tiny beads around the tassel. I'll be using 12 beads to finish this look. Make a loop, then place it underneath the tassel, then tie it tightly three times. Now remove the extra thread and repeat five more times. These are some leftover hoops from a YouTube video I was filming. The other side has this really unique texture, so I'm going to have the side face outward for these earrings. And here are some earrings I haven't worn in a really long time. I still like them, so I'm including them in today's makeover. Just open up the jump ring and reattach the starfish to the earrings, then add an ear wire and they're ready to wear. Now on to the necklace. Because the earrings are quite bold, I want the necklace to complement the earrings, not compete with them. So the tassels will be much smaller than the ones we made for the earrings. For the petite tassel, we're going to do about 25 wraps. The rest of the process is still the same. Once the tassels are finished, set them aside. For the necklace, I'm using an extra starfish pendant I had, and some old earrings that don't get anywhere anymore. You'll also need a clasp and some chains to create the necklace. I'm using some chains left over from a previous project. After you've decided the length of necklace you'd like to make, section it into three parts, the centerpiece and the two sides. Attach the pendant onto the jump ring. Detach the bow from the earring and reattach it to the side of the necklace. Now grab the tassels and attach them to both sides of the necklace.
Once everything is secure, the final step is attaching the clasp to the chain. I have a habit of keeping around jewelry, even when it's really worn or broken. Every now and then, I get inspired to create something new out of those pieces. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it inspires you to add new life to those old pieces that may be sitting in your closet. If you don't have any old jewelry to use, the local thrift store is a great way to find unique pieces. All you need to add is your personal charm. See you in the next video!